Well, we turned the calendar over and it's like we turned the calendar back to, well, at least fall with temperatures that were fantastic. We do have big time changes coming and amongst them are a big dip in temperatures, but not tomorrow. This will happen on Thursday. Temperatures begin their fall. We'll see some areas of rain and possibly even a little bit of accumulating snow along with some wind and a more active weather pattern. And Thursday, everything begins to change as we go through the day. We're going to lose the 70s and we're on our way to the 30s by late evening hours and that'll change to some snow, which may look like this. The American model still showing some wind and snow hitting the area. The impact of this storm, though, has changed significantly from oh, a few days ago. Notice we have a batch of energy here that is in Winnipeg and a batch of energy in the southern Rockies, kind of splitting the energy. Uh, from this storm into two areas, stretching it out. So the impact a little lower, but still very wintry, windy, and a change from most those 70 degree pa uh, pattern we've been in. On the weekend, we could have a system skirting our northern tier of counties with a little bit more snow than early next week. Monday and into Tuesday, a warm front pushes in. That could give us some snow since we'll be on the cold side of that. And when this, another system works its way out of the Rockies, we could see some more robust precipitation, possibly in the form of much needed rainfall as well. So a much more unsettled pattern over the next few days that well, could certainly lead to some November rain and that could be cold, cold enough for snow. Gorgeous setting sun today. Look at those clouds mingling, the high clouds passing over the top of the lower clouds. Beautiful right now. A look at Hector's 58 degrees there, 57 at Moorhead's airport wind southeast 15 miles per hour. And as we take a look at Grand Forks, your temperature 51 and a nine mile per hour wind. Now we have very dry air over us and we usually see temperatures approach the dew point temperature as we go through a long, clear and calm night, but we're anything but calm and we do have a few clouds out there as well. Mid fifties, Roseau and Hallock 51 as mentioned in Grand Forks and a little warmer than that in Jamestown, but check out Lakes Country here where we have the yellows from Fargo through Becker and Otter Tail counties, upper fifties still average highs in the upper forties this time of the year. A few green blips on the radar in southern parts of Canada. Otherwise, we just have some clouds passing into the area. Clouds and wind will work together to keep us from getting too cold. So check this out, setting it into motion overnight. Temperatures will well barely fall any in the Southern Valley. Winds 15 to 25 miles per hour throughout the overnight and by morning could get gusty in a few of our southern counties already. We're going to start the day out with above average high temperatures here in the south and even for some of our northern counties near 50 degrees, maybe even near 60 in Sisseton. Then it gets gusty. See the green arrows here gusts over 30 miles per hour out of the south. Certainly possible temperatures climbing up into the 60s to near 70. Then in the afternoon, we'll challenge records in Fargo. We'll challenge records in Grand Forks, both near those lower 70s for the day for records. It will be breezy. We'll still see a fair amount of clouds. And then late in the day, an approaching warm for our cold front from the west will begin to bring change as we head into our Thursday. So we have temperatures that start out near 50. We work our way up to those 70s. It will be gusty. It will be cloudy. But this warmth, like you see here in your hometown snapshot, will not stick around long. So a windy one and a warm one on a Wednesday. Falling temperatures from Thursday afternoon will carry us into the 30s. Rain could mix with or change to snow, particularly west and north of the FM area on Friday morning. It's gone the rest of Friday looking pretty good. The weekend looking pretty good, 45 to 51 degrees here in Fargo. And then there's that next set unsettled weather pattern that carries us into next week. You know, at least we get one more day. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, it, it's a real treat after Halloween to, to turn the calendar to November and see weather like this. You yes. don't see that very often at all. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of Halloween being over, starting today,